All right, we're logging into Plab DM01. We're going to configure a static IP on the second interface. Let's go ahead and launch PowerShell as administrator. All right, for time's sake, I have already entered the uh, net sh command to add the second Ethernet adapter with the uh, point to IP address. I'll go ahead and execute. Okay, so with this command, you don't get a, um, a success on on the command. In order to verify, we're going to do a IP config. Little syntax error there. We're okay. Let's scroll up to find Ethernet two to verify our dot two IP address. Good. Our next task is to install DHCP and network policy access service in PLAB DM01. So we're still in the command prompt here and we'll go ahead and load up the tools. All right, so DHCP is now installed on the server. Next, we'll install network policy and access service. So the command here for this one is add windows feature NPAS comma NPAS dash policy server space include management tools. Little syntax error, I'll re enter the command. All right, NPAS is installed. Let's go ahead and exit out of this. And let's verify that DHCP is now installed as well as Network Policy Server. So in this step we're going to configure our DHCP server and we're going to create an address pool. So we're in Server Manager, let's go to uh, Tools then click on DHCP. Let's right click on DHCP and select Manage Authorized Servers. Let's go ahead and click Authorize and we'll add the following IP address in. So DHCP has identified it as PLAB DM01 and we'll go ahead and click OK. Let's select PLAB DM01 again and we'll click OK. Let's click OK on this. It's just saying that the server was already added to DHCP. So let's expand Band PLAB DM01. Then expand IPv4. Let's right mouse click IPv4 and select New Scope. Next, we're going to name this scope PLAB Scope 1. Click Next and we'll enter the IP address range. 
and we'll go ahead and click next. So the range here is, is going to be 192.168.1.100 up to 120. So we, we have 20 IP addresses here. We're not adding any exclusions right now, so we'll go ahead and click next through this. And we'll stay with the eight day default lease duration. We'll click next and for the configuration of the DHCP options yes I want to configure these options now we'll click next we'll keep the defaults on the router default gateway setup page and click next so on the domain name and DNS servers page everything's fine we'll keep the defaults as far as practicelabs.com and 192.168.0.1 address Let's click next. In the Win server page, we're going to leave everything as as is. We'll keep the defaults. Click next. And we're going to activate this scope right now. Let's go ahead and click next and finish. So in our next task, we're going to configure DHCP for NAP enforcement. Let's select IPv4, right mouse click it, go down to properties, click on advanced, then click on bindings. Let's clear 0 0.2, click OK. Next we'll click the network access protection tab then select the enable all scopes button now we get a warning about overriding the settings we'll go ahead and click yes and we'll click ok out of the ipv4 properties we're gonna expand the scope for 192.168.1.0 node we're gonna right click this scope and go to its properties. Let's click the network access protection tab. So we're just verifying that enable for this scope and use the default network access protection profile is selected. We could go ahead and click OK. And we're all set. We could close out of DHCP. So on this exercise, we're going to enable NAP enforcement on the DHCP server that we installed earlier. We're still working on PLAB DM01. We're in a server manager. Let's go to tools, then network policy server. Let's expand network access protection, then system health validators, then Windows Security Health Validator and click on Settings. Let's go to Default Configuration, right mouse click it, go to Properties. We're going to go ahead and clear all the settings here. We're, we're going to leave Firewall enabled for all connections, by the way. And then click OK. Let's right click on remediation servers group and click new let's name this group rem srv and click add friendly name is going to be rem srv And IP address is going to be 192.168.1.2. Let's go ahead and click Resolve. It has resolved. Let's click OK. And OK. So we're back in the NPS server. Let's go ahead and expand policies. Let's click on Health Policies. Right mouse click selects New. So we're going to click two we're going to create two policies, one for compliant and another for non-compliant policies. The first one we'll start off with is for compliant policies. 
and select the Windows Security Health Validators checkbox and click OK. We'll go back to Health Policies, right mouse click, New. And this one we're going to call Non-Compliant Policy. On the drop down, we'll select Client Fails All SHV Checks and select Windows Security Health Validator box and click OK. So we now have two health policies, compliant and non-compliant. On this exercise, we're going to create a NAP compliant policy. So we're going to select Network Policies, right mouse click, New. We'll call this one DHCP compliant. The server dropdown, we will select DHCP server and click Next. On the Specify Conditions page, we're going to click Add. We're going to scroll down and look for network access protection. So the selection here is really going to be the uh, location groups because it, it's explaining that the HCAP protocol works between NPS. So we'll go ahead and add it. Next, we're going to add the health policies. And on our drop down, we'll select Compliant and click OK. Back at the Specify Conditions page, we're going to click on Add. We're going to select NAP Capable Computers and click on Add. And select the option for only computers that are NAP capable, then click OK. So we now have a health policy and a NAP capable policy for our DHCP compliant computers. Let's go ahead and click on Next. We'll keep these defaults access granted and click on Next for the permission. On the Configure Authentication page, we're going to clear MS Chap V2 and MS Chap. Let's select Perform Machine Health Check Only and click Next. We're going to keep the defaults on the Configure Constraints page and click Next. On the Configure Settings page, we will keep the defaults and click Next and Finish. We now have a DHCP compliant policy. Next, we're going to create a non-compliant network policy. So select Network Policies, right mouse click, New. and we'll name this one DHCP Non-Compliant. On the drop down, we're going to select DHCP, then click Next. On Specify Conditions page, we will click on Add, then scroll down to Health Policies, Click on Add. On the drop down, we will select Non Compliant. Click OK. We're going to add our second condition. Let's scroll down to NAP. Click on Add. Select only computers that are NAP capable. Click OK. And we've added our two policies. Let's go ahead and click Next. Specify permission, access granted, click Next. We're going to clear the defaults, MS CHAP 2 and MS CHAP 1, and select Perform Machine Health Check Only, click Next. Configure constraints will keep the defaults here, click Next. On the Configure Settings page, let's select NAP Enforcement and choose Allow Limited Access. Scroll down a bit, click on Configure. On Remediation Servers page, our REM server should be in the groups, and it is indeed. Let's 
click OK. Let's go ahead and click Next and Finish. So we now have our DHCP non-compliant network policy. So next we're going to configure our Windows 8 client. Let's jump into that box. Let's open the NAP client configuration. Right mouse click, select run. Let's expand the enforcement clients folder. Let's right mouse click on DHCP quarantine enforcement client and select enable. We could go ahead and close the NAP client configuration. Let's run services. Scroll down to network access protection. Right mouse click it and select properties. And we're gonna change the startup to automatic. Click open. We could close out of this now. So we're still on our Windows 8 box and we're going to verify the NAP client functionality. Let's right mouse click on the network icon on the system tray. Click on change adapter settings. Let's select Ethernet 2, right mouse click on it and choose status. On details, notice that the IPv4 DHCP server is the .2 server that we set up. And its IP address, um, that is the Windows 8 box, is a 192.168.1.100 address, showing that it successfully released an address from PlabDM01. Let's go ahead and close this. And close this. Let's open up Windows Firewall. Let's go ahead and turn the Windows Firewall off. We just need to do it for the domain and let's click OK. It might have been hard to see but the firewall was, was disabled for just a second and it was re-enabled by the pilot. I'll do it again one more time to see if we could catch it. Now it's off and it got re-enabled by the policy to make the computer compliant. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.